Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Fiery Falcon Tarot. Uh, this is going to be a what's good, what what the the good things coming to you in the month of February. So Pisces, you guys could be getting the strength and the courage to let loose here. And reason being, I say that here is because when I came, first of all, my twins woke up, and everybody know that toddlers can be like very energetic, very explosive, yada yada yada. So that was first, um, I was going to do y'all read and then that happened. Then when I came back to the room, we have this over. Which is Katy Perry, Roar. Held me down, but I got up. So I feel like you guys are just unsticking yourself from a difficult situation. And it's like, if you guys know the artist Katy Perry, she's a very, 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 um, very creative young lady. And um, some of you guys may definitely like the word like Libra print here. She has Libra print on and she's just like going through the jungle and just the different things that you incur and encounter, incur, I don't know if I want to use that, different things that you encounter in the jungle, right? So she had tarantulas on her. She, uh, the guy that was on the plane with her, got eaten by a tiger. You guys gotta check it out. And like now she's roaring, and it's like uh, fire, fires, fireflies are flying all around her in the jungle, which formed into like a lion. So <sighs> take it how it resonates, okay? We have five of earth at the bottom of the deck, but when I first picked the deck up, it was the ten of water. This is the good tarot deck. Uh, I didn't mention this in the reading. I literally just did. I didn't mention the, de the deck that I'm using. But this is to find out the good that's coming towards you, Pisces, for the month of February. Even though uh, my phone just kind of silently went off here. So you guys could be doing things in silent here. Not really making a whole lot of noise at this present moment. But I feel like you guys will be roaring here. You guys could be dealing with a uh, Leo, too. Uh, she changed into something else that's a Le uh, Libra print. So some of you guys, or leopard print, whatever you want to call it. So I feel like she's just getting, she's got, she's finally got the courage and the strength to like free herself from things that were holding her down, that was blocking her out. All right, so let's keep it moving. So I feel like you guys are definitely going to be in that energy here. Now we know time is fluent here, so it could be you guys are currently in this energy, was in this energy, or you will be getting this energy. Now, this could happen anywhere between the month of February all the way through the month of March is what I'm getting here. So, we have the Queen of Water coming out. Very, very appropriate, right? Because you guys are water signs. Uh, next, we have the Five of Fire here. And you have the Five of Earth there. So... Definitely could be seeing five 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 or five five for number synchronicities for you guys. And then we have the three of water. So I feel like you guys are definitely gonna be celebrating this newness that you guys are gonna be coming into here. What's the good that's coming in for Pisces for the month of February? I love this. This is really good energy here. And just the whole I will um It's Katy Perry Roar, okay? The name, the song that's on right now, Katy Perry Roar. And music like this typically don't come on when I do readings, but take it how it resonates. At the bottom of the deck, you guys have soften and open back into love all day long. Okay. So this is like you guys are getting back in, into the soft energy of loving yourselves is what I'm just strongly getting here. Some of you guys may love to be out in nature as, like I said, I mentioned earlier, she was definitely in the jungle in the woods. When I looked up right before it's at the end, she was surrounding her, she was basically surrounded by the beauty of nature. Um, there was like a toucan there, there was a monkey there, you know, one of those like fancy monkeys or whatever like that, I don't really know the name of the monkey. But um, there was an elephant there, which elephants are known for, into, like they're very intuitive animals like elephants don't forget anything i have an elephant over here on my shelf uh right there the white one um i have elephants tattooed on me so elephants could be a, a strong symbol or a sign for you guys to see 
is kind of what I'm getting here. Or you guys could be getting more into spirituality or spiritual things. All right, uh, the card that came out for you guys are you are an I. Use this higher aspect of yourself to redeem your shadow aspects. So definitely needing to go through the shadow work here. And if you guys are getting out of anything that was unhealthy or just not suitable for you guys, right? Toxic connections, toxic friendships, toxic family. Because toxicity can exist in all types of ways, right? And I'm being directed to like the strength banner that I have back here in the back of the back, uh, the back here. Um, so just take it how it resonates here. Wow, we have come back to me. They came out. We have greedy at the bottom of the deck. So this could be you, Pisces, that is greedy. This could be the energy that you were dealing with is greedy. Someone could be saying, I made a mistake. Or you could be realizing that you made a mistake here. And then we have neck, okay? So, so... <laughs> Uh, Pisces. So the my neck car is like, you know, going down there, right? Going down, 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 down. So either you like to do this, Pisces, or maybe a connection that you experience like to do this, or this could be the good that's coming in for you. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Uh, but <laughs> take it out. It resonates, all right? This is the Believe in Your Own Magic here. Let's see what comes out in this deck here. What's the good that's coming in for Pisces for the month of February here? Again, like I said, this energy could very well go through all the way through until end of March. Okay, we have... So you guys could either have Aquarius placements. You could be dealing with an Aquarius if you don't have uh, an Aquarius placement. But this is one of the cards they literally just got in our reading red, which is forgiveness. So maybe you guys are needing to learn how to forgive yourself for allowing yourself to stay in these this this type of energy for longer, way, way, way past its expiration date. But don't look at it like that because the universe moves us in a timely manner. So you guys could definitely be seeing three, three, three. Okay, because you got three uh, tarot cards that came out. You got three cards that I created came out and you got three of these that came out so take it how it resonates don't be too hard on yourself um because I know me personally when I went through my whole divorce and when I finally did wake up and when spirit finally you know told me what I was doing wrong or showed me more or less um it was a combination of everything right and I was just I was too I was too in that energy like damn like why that I waste so much time. Why, 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 why? Well, all in reality, it was divine timing playing out into my life. Um, things transpired into my life at the time that they were supposed to, right? So sometimes, I know, I get it. It's, it's a tough one there. But just go with the flow. Put love back into yourself. Put love back into your home. Uh, recalibrate yourself to positive energies, right? Maybe you guys need to get elephants and put it around your home if that is something that you guys find that soothes you or relaxes you. Butterflies could also be a, a, a significant sign too. So if you guys see like a butterfly or if you guys see like an elephant, it could be on a picture, it could be on the back of a car. Um, butterflies could just come and surround you at some a certain point in time when you guys are just out and about. Take that as a sign that the universe is, this energy is starting to shift and transition into your life. All right. And then we have the queen of air. Okay. I love that for you guys. I just wanted to check to see what's behind the five of earth. So you, you guys could, um, also, and once you do this too, you're going to see growth in your finances as well too. Is what I'm seeing here because the five of pentacles here in this picture typical decks is someone being you know shivering out in the cold and things of that nature but in this particular deck it's growth right so finding out new figuring out new ways on how to expand your money I'm here how can I make my money work for me um, uh, so that is that's a beautiful energy there too um, all right so let's go let's keep going we have 18 on the tree here it says tree let them go and 18 reduces the nine so nine is the indication of change that is beginning to happen or shape into your life uh 
So here she's got the tree on fire. She's letting it burn. So you guys could be burning, um, doing like a burning bowl because I'm seeing like a bowl type of situation here. If you guys don't know what that is, um, you can either reach out to me via email, which is in the description box down below. You could choose to look on YouTube for other burning bowl rituals. All right, which is not dark magic. No, it's not. It's positive things because you're releasing negativity. You're releasing unhealthy energies from your life. Um, so ridding yourself of things that you may have shared with this individual is basically a, the what you need to be doing here. All right, we have spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. And we have 43, which is seven. So some of you guys could be a life path number seven. Some of you guys could definitely just have a great voice and love to sing. Um, you guys could like to look the stargaze as well. Confirmation. Um, you guys could like stargate stargazing as well. Okay, looking up at the sky. Um, manifesting is kind of strongly what I'm getting here. I feel like some of you guys too are having trouble with manifesting. Again, you can reach out to me via email if you are having some type of troubles with doing so, or maybe wondering why your manifestations are not coming into play. Uh, lastly, we have wings. You never needed those wings to fly. And I'm going to say anyway, anyway is not on the card, but we have number eight, which reduces the four. So I feel like once you guys release, do like a burner bowl ritual, spiritual bath, or something of the nature to kind of cleanse your home, cleanse your energy cleanse your psyche um you guys will start to gain the energy of the divine your angels are going to be there with you because look it looks before i said that i looked at the card and we can see behind her it's like white spirits behind her so i feel like your angels is the one that's going to have you guys flying here jumping for joy something positive could come your direction here once this change is being made here so I love that for you guys. Let's, um, before we go here, which is the Romance Angel deck, let's go here and clarify what's the Queen of Water for Pisces for the good things that's coming to them for the month of February. Uh, what the hell? February? Okay, so you guys got quite a few cards. like maybe three that fell out, actually. It is. So you guys definitely are seeing 333. So if you guys are out and about and you're seeing 333, look it up on your phone at that very particular time to see exactly what your angels or your guys are trying to direct you guys towards here. We have the full card, which is why I said direct you. Okay, I'm going to set this over here. So we have the full at the bottom of the deck. All right, so on the Queen of Water, we have the Ten of Pentacles. I love that. So it definitely could be, and underneath of that is the Come Back to Me. Okay, so you guys could definitely be leaving strongly a foundation here, a family or something like that on the uh, five of fire. I made a mistake and don't be afraid to sing. We have the sun card here. So you guys could be just figuring out like once you guys do this, this is going to bring so much joy, so much uh sunshine into your life also shining light on a direction or a path that you need to go towards and once you guys do that it's going to lead you to the ten of pentacles okay and then under the three of water we have neck and we have the queen of wands fire energy here so fire strongly shown up in your chart heavily primarily leo because the sun card is a uh major kind of is, is the card of leo okay the Queen of Wands is also a fire sign here. Oh, okay, that came through real strong, real out. So the Queen of Wands is also a fire significant, uh, fire energy, fire card here. Could be again Leo, Aries, or Sag. All right, take it how it resonates. You could also have uh, Leo, Aries, or Sag placements in your chart as well, two Pisces. But just take it how it resonates. Um, we have the Fool card at the bottom of the deck, which is Piscean energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay? Boom, I can't make it up. Alright. So, what, what's the good that's coming in for Pisces for the month of February? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the good that's coming in for Pisces? Please and thank you. What else is coming in for them? So, it looks... Oh, Okay. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Damn. There we go. And I just said this kind of earlier. Like, 
Thank you. I love when the cards, you know, kind of go with the flow. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay. So if this is not like an old, old, old energy, this could also be someone that you like, I don't know, dated for a short period of time and maybe you guys felt like it wasn't what it what it was it's kind of what i'm getting to and maybe you could be in the energy of come back to me you're seeing now that it could have led to the ten of pentacles or something of that nature but anyway whatever it is ten of pentacles is here damn it okay and i just said here when i looked at the five of um when i looked at the five of earth here i said your money is going to grow and then we have the ten of pentacles is coming out fantastic 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 all right, what the card that fell on the floor is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. There it is, Pisces. Bam. So, I love that for you guys. Um, Let's get some hidden truths here. Oh, my goodness. I still have feelings for you. Okay. That's very clear. I am patiently waiting. We're not taking all these, but I'm just... These are the ones that's sticking out to me. You guys got a whole damn deck here. I feel the sexual tension. I'm not over you. I would do it all again. I can't be with you. I'm not financially stable. And maybe this is why you guys may feel like you, you can't be with someone. Because the five of earth. That's going to grow, baby. Don't allow that to be a reason to not go towards your heart's desire. Because I feel strongly here like you guys are being pulled towards this direction, towards this person here, whatever the case may be. So I feel like you guys are being pulled in this direction. Sorry, that was my one of my twins. That was my son. Oh, I see life differently now. Yeah, on the, I made a mistake here. And what is the neck? At the bottom of the deck, we have, I can be myself with you. So I feel like this is something that really makes you excited here, makes you happy. On the neck here. Yeah, your intellect arouses me. <laughs> okay. All right, so not only did you have a physical connection with someone, but you also had an emotional connection. And I feel like a spiritual connection here all in one. I mean, why walk away from that? Okay, why, 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 why? But again, when I mentioned earlier, divine timing is at work in all of our lives, right? So sometimes, okay, confirmation. Sometimes we are meant to stay in situations and experience certain things over a course of time that the universe feels is significant for us to experience. Um, so that way we can awaken to what it is that we don't want to towards what we really do want. I'm sorry, guys. I got to cut it short. They are going crazy here. I don't know what's going on, but I love you, Pisces. Thank you so much for uh, Pisces, I'm so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> um, but anyway, we are going to wrap this up. Um, but <laughs> this was really good. I mean, it's always good to awaken to what it is that we do and don't want and what direction that we want to go into. So let me tend to them real quick. They're having some difficulties with sharing. Uh, sharing is caring in certain degrees, but apparently not today for them. So I do apologize for the noise in the background. Um, I love you guys. Best of luck with this Pisces because it does look very exciting. It looks very exciting and very sexual. I must say like really, 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 really sexual and it's good too. Like it's so, so good. But anyway, um, thank you Pisces. <laughs> Enjoy the, the newness that's coming towards you guys or the, you know, the new direction here that you guys, I feel like you guys are throwing that car in reverse. Like skirt, throwing that thing in reverse here. Uh, let's get the Capricorns, but I thank you guys so much. If you need anything from Leash, look in the description box down below. 
You can follow me on all social media platforms. It is Fiery Falcon Tarot on everything. Okay, Instagram, TikTok, and click the like button here. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so, Pisces. Uh, you can definitely leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, I got to go. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And look, when I stop shuffling, it's roses here. So you might be getting some roses. Someone could be, or you could be gifting some roses towards someone else. Take it how it resonates. All right. I love you, Pisces. Take care. And I will catch you guys on your next 48, which will be out soon.